Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can automatically set item level permission to your SharePoint list item using uh, Power Automate. In my previous video, I have discussed uh, this thing using out the box uh, flow, but that flow had some limitations. I cannot uh, grant permissions uh, to SharePoint group. I cannot provide full control and contribute permissions. And also I cannot uh, break permissions for uh, a user who have full control so we'll overcome all these uh, shortcoming in this video and uh, we'll see how we can do that using a rest api with the power automate let's just jump into our sales data list you can see i have already created a test entry if i go to manage access here i can see all the users and group have the permissions as of now owner and edit permissions like this so how we can achieve let's just uh, open my flow and I'll create automated cloud flow here name my flow as uh, custom item level permission and trigger point will be when item is created or modified site address dev site and uh, list name is sales data and the next time I'm going to perform here is I'm going to break the permissions for this uh, specific item. So whenever a new item is created or existing is modified, I will first break the permission. So how can I do that? I'll go in my choose operation, then uh, HTTP, send HTTP request, select my site address that is dev and uh, method will be post what i'm doing here is i'll copy this one i'll paste it here so using rest i'm uh, using the underscore api that's uh, basically our uh, rest signature to access the list and then uh, putting the list get by title I'll put my list title here that is uh, sales data and then item will be for that specific item that is my item ID and this is break inheritance this is the method it will break the inheritance and uh, then the copy roll assignment falls that means it is not assigning the rule from the top it is stopping that and clear subscope and is clearing for the subsequent object right so it will break the permissions for me for that specific item and the next step will be i want to provide a specific user let's suppose a person who has created this entry i want to provide that user a read permission and uh, one specific user i want to provide a uh, full control for that purpose i will uh, need that specific user who has created the item detail and also the uh, group detail for that one i will again type the http that is send select my site address again and this time I will use the get method and in the URI. So what I'm doing here now is I will say API slash web slash site users and get by emails, right? So this will get the site user email, the person who has created. I will provide the get by email section, the user created by email there. So don't worry about that. I will provide this entire list to you in my description so that you can use that as well. I'll go in my URI and uh, in the get uh, by email section, I will select uh, my created by email. So this is created by email is basically the person who has created that specific item, that person's email ID. And I will rename this step as uh, get user detail right and uh, next step will be same select my site address 
dev function will be get in the uri this time i will select uh, api slash web site groups and get by names because i am calling a specific group detail here so that uh, later on i can provide them permissions so get by names how can i get a group name is i will go to my site permission advanced permission and i want this uh, dev owners group so i will just say group name as uh, dev owners right i rename the step as get group detail so now i have user detail and the group detail so now i have to create a a principal id of this user and this group so that i can use that for providing permissions later on so the entire purpose of getting the user detail in the group detail is to create a principal id so let's uh, create a variable here initialize a variable initialize variable that will say user Princip ID type will be string and in the value what I'm gonna do is <coughs> get the user detail body in my expression just type body here and in the body section I have this get user detail body Control X, take it to my this section. Now you can see this way I will delete the output from here and uh, this body I don't require. And after that, I have to just copy this D node and the ID node. I will explain this to you later what this D node and ID node is doing, right? Now I will. Uh, paste this here sorry not here I will just uh, paste this here and that's all and name this as user of ID and second variable group princip id later i will be string again and uh, here again what i'm going to do is in the expression type body again here and in the body i will first get the group details control x this one and again paste it here now you can see i have group detail then my d node and the id node for group detail as well paste here click ok now you will see that uh, my group principle id is there as well <coughs> So now I have a user principal ID and group principal ID. Next step will be providing permission to created by user and providing permissions to a specific group. So now next step will be again my HTTP send HTTP request site address again will be my dev site method will be post this time and the uri will be 
So this time I have to select API slash web slash list, then provide a list name, then item will be ID again, and rule assignment is a method. And underneath that one, we have a specific method that is add rule assignment. And here we have a principal ID. So now you know why I'm creating the principal ID. So I'll provide a principal ID of a user and then for a group as well. There is a rule def ID, which is like you can see here. And uh, below I have mentioned for all type of access, we have specific rule def ID in SharePoint. So I have mentioned all them here. I will provide them in my description. So if you want to provide full control, you have to put this. If you want to provide contribute, you have to put this ID, right? So I'll copy this section. In my URI, I'll paste this. So get by title will be my sales data again, my list name, sales data. And item will be my item ID, this one. And in the principal ID section, before the comma, I have to provide user principal ID, which is this one. And in the rule def ID, I want to provide this created by user as in read access. So I will choose this one, copy it. This is already provided read access, but I'll still paste this for your reference and uh, save this. So in this case, I'm setting a uh, created by user permissions. Set user permission. Next step, again, my HTTP. I will select my site address here again. That is dev. Method will be post again. URI will be this one. Paste it here in the get by title. Again, will be sales data item will be item id all right item id is there and uh, in the principal id i will select the group principal id this time because i want this permissions to be provided group and what will be a rule def id i'll go back to my notepad full control rolled up id i'll copy this one and paste it down here all right and that's all we are sorted here now i'll just change the step name again rename this uh, set group permission group permission and uh, this will break permission all right save this one once our flow is saved i'll go back to my sales data and uh, we'll refresh this one and now try to edit this one i will say test edited save this one we'll wait our flow to run i'll go to flow history so now you can see our flow ran successfully we'll go to my list refresh this one Now we'll check the permissions for this uh, item. Manage access. Now you can see only three user have access. So I'll go in advance. 
my name is there because I have created that one. I have both full control and read and dev owners has full control. In my case, I have full control as well because I'm a collection admin. So you cannot delete a collection admin permission. So that's why it's showing full name and full control in front of uh, my name. So don't worry about that. You can provide any user name here and can give them read permission and full control, whatever we have given into our uh, flow. One more thing I just want to showcase you about uh, this D node and ID node. Why I've given this when we go to our uh, get user details. So this way we are getting our user detail, which we are getting here. So you can see it is coming in a JSON format. So this is my D node and I have to get that specific ID principal ID. That is this one. That's why I've given like a D node and ID node so that I can reach to that level directly in my variable section. So when I go in my principal ID, I can directly see the ID value only. I hope you like this video and uh, it is helpful for you as well. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe our channel and keep watching Learn and Tech. Thank you so much for watching.